Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hi, this is Leo Laporte, and once again, time for Twit's audience survey. We'd really like to hear from you. It's only going to take a couple of minutes, really. That's all. Just go to twit.tv slash survey and let us know what you think. Your anonymous feedback will help us make Twit even better. And thanks for your continued support. This is Android App Arena, episode 134 for Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. Notifications Management. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by BarkBox. BarkBox Paw Picks, the best all-natural treats and innovative toys for your dog, and ships them right to your door. To receive a free month of BarkBox with your 6- or 12-month subscription and free shipping, visit getbarkbox.com slash twit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. I'm now two weeks, two whole weeks into the grand twit switch where Megan Maroney, my co-host on Tech News Today, and I switched phones and platforms for an entire month to see how the other side lives. I've got the iPhone 7 Plus here. Uh, One thing I really miss from Android is the platform's approach to notifications. iOS notifications, personally, for me, seem just a bit too noisy on Android Things are kind of grouped together a little bit more cohesively, in my opinion. Uh, And generally, I found Android just to be better at allowing me to use my notifications as both a way to keep informed and a way to manage the day-to-day requirements of my life. Uh, The first half of today's roundup is devoted to the ways in which notifications can be further managed and archived. So let's check it out in this week's roundup. Notifications come and notifications go. I think that's how the ages old saying goes anyways. But uh, what if you want to go back in time uh, for that notification that you swiped away, even though you didn't mean to swipe it away, let's say, or you want to remember that glorious time that you were notified once long ago that Pokemon Go just got a big update. Say hello to Notabox, an app that gives you access to your history of notifications. Now, as you can see, all of your notifications will be logged in a vertical timeline on the screen here that can be scrolled through. You can find the appropriate time as well as the notification that's associated with that time. If I tap a particular notification in this list, I'm going to then be taken over to the app that generated it and likely right into the part of that app that the notification was derived from. Sometimes the notification represents a to-do for a future date or a future time. I can tap the clock that's next to the notification. That's going to jump right into Google Calendar, which is how I have it set up on my phone, and assign it to a spot on my calendar so I don't miss whatever needs to happen. And I can share it out to any number of apps on my device as well. Now, to make managing this huge list just a little bit easier, I can favorite the things with that star, uh, things that I need to keep, and then maybe access those important items in this section up top so I can really filter the list, along with filtering the view to whatever app I choose to reduce the extra noise. It only gives me the apps that are actually represented by a notification in the list. And check out this notification widget. This highlights the most recent notifications in a row in my notification shade, as well as integrating a do not disturb button for quieting all notifications on my device when I need to focus. You can find Notabox in the Play Store for free. This next app might sound familiar, but it's actually a little bit different from the previous app. Uh, Notify Box, or Notification Cleaner Notifier in the Play Store, is an app that performs a couple of key functions to keep you focused when you need to be. First, Notify Box adds a clean notification panel in your shade. As you can see here, things are a little bit smaller, a little bit more condensed. Basically, Notify Box groups your notifications within that small box in your notification shade. Not only does that clean things up, it also removes some of the extra information from your notifications, and that could be really handy uh, at preventing others from kind of peering over your shoulder to see what your notifications are all about. Tapping that box then brings me into the Notify Box app. 
That's where those notifications are then laid out in a vertical timeline. Each notification can be individually swiped uh, when you do whatever it is you needed to do with that notification before you're removing it for good from this list. Think of this list as kind of like your management console. And if there are notifications here that you'd rather be treated by the system notification method bypassing this app altogether, you can tap the bell and it will bypass notify box going forward. In fact, if you go into the settings, there's an app notifications area where you can select which apps on your device should pass through notify box and which apps shouldn't. This is a way to make using your notifications as a to-do list have a bit more permanence than I'd say the traditional OS level approach does. Find notify box in the Play Store for free. All right, those two apps were, yeah, okay, let's admit it, they were a bit similar in form and function, but different enough that I'm sure you'll zero in on at least one preference one way or the other. Uh, but before we move on with a few more notification apps, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. Uh, and that is BarkBox, a new sponsor for Android App Arena. BarkBox delivers four to six natural treats and fun toys for your dog curated around a surprise theme each month to keep your dog guessing. BarkBox paw picks the best all natural treats, innovative toys, all sorts of little treats for your dog to match your dog's unique needs, including allergies, as well as heavy chewer preferences, because not all dogs are created equal, as you know. All edibles are made in the USA or Canada, and 100% of their products are tested on animals. Their own, because they're all pet fans. Of course they have pets at BarkBox. BarkBox is a great way to try a variety of treats and toys from local and small businesses that you may not otherwise be able to find. BarkBox also makes their own products, get it, products, products, uh, through their Bark and Company brand. They've shipped over 16 million toys and treats so far. The products are super cute. You know your, your dog's going to love these things. Uh, getting started also is very easy. You can choose your dog size. They're small and cute. That's up to 20 pounds. Uh, just right, which is 20 to 50 pounds. Or big and bold, 50 pounds or more. And you choose a plan. One, six, or 12-month plans are actually available. Get your bark box. Bark boxes are shipped on the 15th of each month. Bark box will keep your dog engaged, interested, and happy. If your dog doesn't like something in the bark box, they'll send you something else for free. Scouts honor. When your dog falls in love with something from the box, you can actually easily find it again on barkshop.com or the BarkBox app. And you can cancel anytime. And shipping is free in the continental US. Give your dog the joy of a million belly scratches. Get one month free and free shipping with your six or 12 month subscription by visiting getbarkbox.com slash twit. That's getbarkbox.com slash twit. And we thank BarkBox for their support of Android App Arena. All right, the second part of the roundup today has to do with managing what can sometimes be a little annoying. Notification alerts when you're already busy doing other things. Let's take a look. When you're staring at your phone or I don't know, better yet, actually using it, why would you just be staring at your phone? Anyways, uh, one might think that being buzzed with every single notification that comes through is rather unnecessary. After all, you're already looking at the screen, so you probably already know. An app called Dingless allows you to adjust two simple settings that will trim the notification fat, so to speak, uh, but only while your device is in your hands and in use, at least with the first function here. When you open the app, you get this very simple setting screen. The top setting is while screen on. When this is active, any notifications that come through while your screen is actually on, as it says, in other words, you're actually using the phone, no notification buzzes or sounds will ring out into the night. So when you're using your phone, you're not gonna hear any of that annoying stuff. The second you set your phone down and the screen turns off, those buzzes and those sounds will be restored. So you'll be sure not to miss any of those important notifications when, when the screen's off. Now second, the in rest mode option tackles what happens when the screen is off. This feature works along with the alerts control time that setting that you can find in the settings to group any notification buzzes together into a single buzz or chime within the time that you specify. So for example, all notifications received within the 60 seconds I just set this to will all be included inside a single notification ring because 
Nothing's worse than that person that uses SMS like it's email and you get 10 dings in a row. I know you know who that person is. Find Dingless in the Play Store for free. Another app that does one thing, but one thing very well, aims to save you while you're listening to music on your device. You'll know what I mean. When you're listening to a great tune, when suddenly your phone keeps interrupting the music because you suddenly got really popular and your notifications are blowing up, enter the app called Don't Pause. I'll give you two guesses what it does. Don't Pause has a go button and a stop button, and that's really it. When you tap go, from that point forward, your phone will not interrupt your tunage with stupid notification buzzes. Freebird deserves your full attention, and you know it. And when you quit caring and move on with your day, you can stop Don't Pause and let those notifications fly through. Pro features allow you to automatically launch the app on boot, as well as when you happen to plug in your headphones so you don't have to manage it manually. It's a single purpose, but useful to many a Freebird fan, app. Find Don't Pause in the Play Store for free with a $1.43 Pro version inside the app. All right, after taking this journey into notification system on Android, it's time for me to head back to the land of iOS where notifications are a bit less dynamic, but Patrick's happy about it. Two weeks to go, two weeks to go. I can do this. I know I can. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv, or you can post those to the subreddit at androidapparena.reddit.com. The recorded show plays every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Today at twit.tv slash live, and new episodes will appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena. arena.